Business is a big field, so I'm back in a big field again, just to run through a couple of really basic concepts for our finance uh, topic this week. The first one, adverse selection. They're telling me to leave. Leave the big field. Anyway, adverse selection. Adverse selection is this really simple notion that people hide information about themselves. They're not going to be really honest with you, which is a real problem if you're running an insurance company. They're not going to tell you if they uh, have a long track record of neglecting the safety uh, of their factory so that they've been robbed or they've been vulnerable to fires, for example. So you're going to have to find some information about people if you're going to be running an insurance company. Of course, you can legally uh, require them to disclose a whole range of relevant things about themselves when they sign the contract, but that only helps you if you sue them in the end after a claim has been made. Moral hazard is the other concept that we're really concerned about here. Key thing with moral hazard is not so much that people are not honest with you up front, but that the commitments you make to them, the kind of assurance you give them, creates incentives for their behaviour to change. That is, if you sell them insurance, they become less careful about locking the door of the shop. They become less careful about maintaining the uh, fire alarm system, for example. If you uh, sell them insurance for their car, maybe they're less careful about whether they lock it in a place where car theft is common. Maybe they're less careful about the way they drive uh, because they're thinking, well, if they crash it, the insurance company's going to buy them a new one. So how do we attenuate, try and deal with these inevitable dynamics? This, on the one hand, adverse selection, this tendency to hide information about your own riskiness when you're buying a product that shifts risk from you. And on the other hand, this change in your behavior when someone's given you uh, a guarantee. Well, the parties who are dealing with this, how do they attenuate this? Well, they want to look for information about you, your past reliability. They want to see your track record. Uh, very often they will go to third parties, for example, uh, risk assessment companies, uh, companies that specialize in collecting data from financial institutions on how regularly you missed a credit card bill, whether you have been bankrupted in the past, for example. Or another way to do this when you're hiring people, for example, is to get references. Similarly, if you're about to rent an apartment to someone, if you're an investor, for example, uh, you may want to get a, not only a, a list of the properties that people have borrowed, uh, have rented before, but you may also want to get references from previous landlords or a reference from a res respectable member of the community that says this is a good person. This is a person of good character. They will do what they say. They will be responsible. They will uphold their deal, uh, their side of the deal when you're contracting. Okay, that's a bit of a rushed explanation because Shinjuku Gyoen's gonna kick me out. But as you can see, a beautiful day and a big field Life is good.